<laughs> oh, okay, let's just slap mom right in the face. <laughs> Becca. And Mike. And, this is and Samson. Samson. <laughs> oh. He's going to guest star, um, guest host this episode this week. So. I was lucky enough to visit Disney Publishing today at Disney's Grand Central Creative Campus in LA. It hosts Disney Imagineering, Disney Consumer Products, Disney Interactive, as well as Disney Publishing. I spent today going around the campus with a couple of friends. It was so much fun. They have a lot of history there. I got to visit the archives, which is amazing. You know, they have every single movie Disney has ever released available in the archives for you to rent. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Available for you Come to on. rent or watch on, on property. They also have a collection of all of the animated movies and all of like their character bios and info. So we kind of went through a little bit of them. While I was visiting Disney Publishing, I did have a little mini book haul. So I thought we would talk about that. Yep. There are a bunch of books that I'm not going to mention and that I am going to read. The first book I picked up today was Kill All Happies by Rachel Kahn. What's it about? Uh, this is a YA contemporary. It's, it's about a girl who is throwing a high school graduation party. She basically wants to throw the ultimate high school graduation party. And she does it at the restaurant called Happies. It's kind of like a local legend in town. The restaurant is also closing down. So this party is, though, has like a dual purpose as well, the last hurrah. It become, the party kind of gets out of hand. What I think is really interesting about this book and why I'm really excited for it mm. is that when the party does get out of hand, it funnels into an abandoned amusement park. And as like a huge Disney fan and just amusement park fan in general, I think that is so rad. And I really can't wait to read about this aspect of the novel what about right. you yeah um it's about food so i'm in <laughs> well it's about diner food um which is amazing which i don't know if you can see it has pies and shakes has some tash fries so oh if you look at it, it's so pretty pink um the inside cover is so rad and then it has a nice bright pink sign with some french fries so really pretty book this book just released on may 2nd um, I'm really excited to dive into it and let you guys know what I thought. Well, the second book that she got to bring home for me <laughs> is going to be this book. It's Black Widow Forever Red. And essentially what this book is about is Black Widow is known as one of the most lethal assassins, then turning hero, obviously. It's the first book in a series of books written by Margaret Stoll, but she comes across this girl named Ava. This girl kind of looks up to her as a big sister, which is not in her nature. As time goes on, there's girls across Eastern Europe that start to disappear. So she automatically thinks that her old teacher, evil man uh, who controlled the Red Room, is behind everything. So she has to lower her guard. She has to befriend this girl, Ava, in order to beat her former teacher, um, Ivan. So I think it's a really interesting book, especially if you love Marvel. And Black Widow, to me, is like Hawkeye. They're very underrated characters. Um, obviously, everybody loves Iron Man, the Hulk, and all that. But you know what? She's she's a normal human. No superpower. She's just badass. I think that's why Scarlett Johansson like yeah. wanted to play Black Widow because it wasn't a love interest. She's just some fast woman that kicks mass. Yep. Oh, something really cool about this book that I like, it comes with a Black Widow comic in the end. Anyway, it's called The Red Widow First Strike. And then... Yeah, definitely a must read though if you're interested in the Marvel comics. All right, and the last two books that we picked up, I mean, these are all kind of old books but I don't care, are two books in a series. 
They are the Twisted Tail series by Liz Braswell, A Whole New World and Once Upon a Dream. So A Whole New World is the first book in the series by Liz Braswell. It is about a retelling of Aladdin if Aladdin didn't end up getting the lamp. And so it's if Jafar got the lamp. From what I hear, it's a little darker. Mm -hmm. I hear the beginnings a lot like the actual movie from Aladdin, but these are made by Disney, so they probably went off the Disney movie. So I hear yeah. the beginnings exactly like the Disney film Aladdin, and then it evolves from there. I've heard mixed reviews. It doesn't have, obviously, have a lot of good reviews on Goodreads, but I always like to give my own opinion of things and give things a read, so I definitely want to do that for this. If it has the genie, I'm in. Let's Actually, I hear the genie is not that present in this. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Don't listen to a single word she says. Ignore her. But I love Disney. We got married in Aladdin's Oasis in Disneyland, yep. which is basically this little airing Disneyland that has the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> well, we're big Aladdin fans. It's one of his favorite films. And then the second book is Once Upon a Dream. My favorite Disney film artistically, obviously. <laughs> this is the story about Aurora if she never woke up. I don't know, that sounds really interesting to me. I personally love the whole Sleeping Beauty tale in general, so excited to dive in to this one yeah. as well. Who wouldn't want to read that? Let's just leave a girl in a coma. See what happens, let's get crazy. <laughs> that was it for my trip. Let me know if you're reading any Disney Hyperion books or if you have any questions about the campus, I would love to answer any questions about yep. Disney Grand Central Creative Campus. All right. All right, thanks for watching guys. Samson says to hit subscribe right down there. Yep, because of him. Don't do it for us, do it for him. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>